welcome back to my channel guys today's video we are going to be talking about beginner skincare routine and i have skincare we going to be a sit down and talk through informative kind of videos i know some people don't like this videos on my channel they keep skipping through skipping through if you don't like to hear someone sitting down and telling you information you want to click out of this video but our advice try not to skip any part of this video because it's detailed and in-depth and i won't take much of your time i won't ramble about so let's get straight into the line skincare you don't know where to start from there are lots of products out there lots of information lots of steps you see people applying 50 things on their face 10 things on their face and i've not seen a real video out there on youtube that just broke down the basic important skincare that every beginner can afford and just start from the essence of this video so i have a clay mask on this video is not about the clay mask i just want to detox my skin so so guys when we get to the age of 25 years our body reduces the production of collagen and elastin which is an important skin protein that is responsible to make our skin continue to look youthful so as a result of the depletion we start getting wrinkles but this is where skincare comes in using the right two types of skin care can feed the skin and really slow down the process and help the skin to produce more collagen and more elastin making the skin continue being renewed youthful and plump so guys i'm back from washing the clay off my face the first step to skincare for the absolute beginner is your cleansing. This is your first step and it's the most important of all the steps if you ask me. If you cleanse wrongly, you will have acne, you will have pimples, you will have lots of skin problems. You want to make sure your cleansing game is on point. Cleansing is all that matters. You have to be deliberate about your cleansing. You have to be very deliberate about it. There are many way cleansing methods you see people using cleansers that have alcohol where they just use cotton pads you know the types i talk about those cleansers are not good for your skin cleansers that have alcohol they dehydrate the skin and in the end your skin would try to make up for that lost fluid and produce excess oil and you get breakouts large pores and a lot of awful things you don't always want to go with the foam cleanser a foam cleanser is a cleanser that activates into a soap when in contact with water so oh and there are lots of affordable foam cleansers out there we have CeraVe CeraVe is a very good cleanser this is the cleanser I use and it is the Dove it is the Dove Inner Glow Gentle Exfoliating Face Cleanser this does it for me it's simple it's gentle it but first, I do something called a double cleanse. I would advise anybody to do it. Foam cleansers and water are not sufficient sometimes to get rid of sunscreen, some makeup that are that are formulated to be water resistant and waterproof makeup. So go with an oil. So your first cleanse step is an oil. You get an oil and just use it. The oil has the ability to draw out bacteria from within your pores it has the ability to break down waterproof and to break down waterproof makeup and other excess cream that must have um, creams and oils that must have been on your face prior balms that does this or many products but personally i like to use a light oil which could be olive oil or jojoba oil don't use coconut oil for this because they are very dense and very common common endogenic which means they are pore blocking they are too thick for the skin on your face so you want to use a lighter oil i use olive oil or jojoba oil so guys i just take the oil in the palm of my hand you could use a grape seed oil jojoba oil olive oil but do not use coconut oil i warm it up in the palms of my hand and i just massage it into my face for like 60 seconds that's like a minute this has the ability to sink down within the pores because our skin has sebum and oil attracts oil it breaks down all the bacteria and it just gets rid of all the grime and excess makeup so after the oil cleanse i go in with the face wipes and i just wipe up 
all the excess oil and all the residue and the dirt is just mind-blowing micro fat particles that helps to exfoliate the skin so basically i just like to work it into my skin i go in at this point with my foam cleanser and my foam cleanser is the dove cleanser it has exfoliating beads the exfoliating beads give this light exfoliation, nothing serious as it cleanses. So the cleansing is deep and profitable. Hey guys, I'm back from washing it off my face. I avoid using towels to dry my face. I just prefer my skin to absorb the water. It helps to really get your skin hydrated and it helps your skincare products to work guys, more. After you've cleansed your face, the next step is toning. Toning is basically, uh, cleansing opens up your pores. When you've cleansed your face, you've done your oil, oil cleansing, the process of cleansing the face opens up the pores. So your pores are open, they're ready to get anything in and you know. So you kind of need to close them or tighten them again. And the process of closing and tightening them again is called toning. So that's where toners come in. And they are the second step to skincare. There are lots of toners. Personally, I have three toners here. I have the Mario Badesco face toner. It's like a spray foam. And I love, love this toner so much. It has lavender to calm the skin. You can also have the Pixie Glow Tonic with it because it contains glycolic acid and you guys know how i'm all about glycolic acid it is. so i'm keeping this for a first impression video this is the toner i use every day it is the simple toner i love love this cosmetic brand it was their clay max i had earlier on i have their face cream and i can't i'm obsessed with them i can't wait to get everything they ever own this is their clay max you saw me using but i love this simple cosmetics use natural organic vegetarian um hypoallergenic no perfumes the, there are no smells to their products i love this brand so much i use a lot of their stuff this is what i go for my everyday and they are so affordable they are accessible everywhere in the world they are so cheap guys like this toner i got it for three five that's like ten dollars or less or just a little bit above is for everybody and it's not just glowing quality it is a good quality my skin drinks this thing this is my go-to toner i people like to use cotton pad to apply toners personally i don't like using cotton pad i do this applying your toners with cotton pad i feel the cutting part just soaks up a good amount of your products and just not enough it's even gotten onto your face so hence i like to use clean hands to apply my toner so i want to make mention if you if you have more than one toners you can layer your toner as many as you want provided the ingredients containing in them are very what will i say they you can combine them because some ingredients are just not com combinable but we know this is a simple toner it doesn't contain anything so i, I could do that sometimes i go with only this so these are my simple tricks for clear glowing skin i don't use no towels i don't use cotton pads i expect you to be taking notes if you do all this my secrets they're tried and true all the tips I'm giving you here, your skin is going to be transformed. You notice a clear glowing skin in like seven days, and I'm not even joking. Ah, your step two, which is your toner. Is your toner. The next step is your serum. A serum is the top third step to skincare, and it is a cosmetic made with high concentrations of active ingredients. These active ingredients have specific work they are meant to do, depending on the need of the person using it. So we have vitamin C as an active ingredient. We have niacinamide, we have um, retinol, and they have what they do. You will even see some um, serums containing more than one or more than two 
active ingredients it's just depending on what you want people with that battle large pores acne scars dark spots on their face they often advise them to go with niacinamide serums and each serum has the different way you are going to treat them depending on what you want but one serum that is very popular everybody uses it everybody should have this type of serum in their stack is a vitamin c serum the benefits of vitamin c serum is endless what gives off youthful skin that is plump and bouncy like this is high collagen and elax elastase if i'm not mistaken as we grow older our body has doesn't have the ability to produce this collagen and elastase like it does when we were much younger so vitamin c has a building block that helps um the body to it prompts it it stimulates the cells to produce the collagen and the elax elastase back therefore maintaining a youthful skin vitamin c also has the ability to lighten dark spots on the face too acne scars dark spots it brightens the skin so we talk of youthfulness and a glowing radiant skin everybody wants that everybody has vitamin c serum so if you don't have it get you some vitamin c serum the one i'm using is the balance active formula there are lots of vitamin c serum but this is the one i use is the vitamin c brightening serum with glow and radiance one thing i like this brand vitamin c serum is a very very delicate active ingredient because it can become very unstable so they use forms of vitamin c that are very stable so i was impressed with that this is how you apply a serum they most of them usually come with a dropper especially vitamin c serum so you are just to apply it to your skin and your neck anything you do to your face do to your neck also because you don't want <laughs> and be gentle with your skin no dragging no pulling just rub it in just rub it in after the serum step the next step is your face cream you don't want to use body lotions for your face they are too heavy and they have lots of harsh and heavy pore blocking and unnecessary mater materials that your skin don't need but your body can tolerate so you always need to get you some face cream and for my face cream it's still the simple face cream it's the replenish replenishing rich moisturizer 12 hour moisturization with a long way i'll probably be 80 years old before i finish this thing if you want to do all your skincare to be everything simple cosmetics they have you could find them anywhere you're looking at supply store amazon online anywhere but just check around your only beauty supplies it's going to help to like, seal everything in okay? seal all those goodness in and your skin is moisturized when you go out in the sun the sun is reduces our collagen present in our skin it reduces a lot of things it causes aging it causes spots to be darker you need a sunscreen a sunscreen is going to protect you just need a little bit and i'm using the neutrogena hydro boost water gel lotion sunscreen you want to make sure the sunscreen you are getting is spf 50 at least 50 50 covers all the range of harmful rays you find in the sun. So this is the SPF 50. Ah, this bothered me too much. Anyways, just for the sake of this video. So, I'm just rubbing that in. 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 Don't forget your neck, guys. So that is pretty much it for the beginner beginner skin care routine this is just basically all you need just all you need like five steps all you need very simple very affordable you don't have to go with this product i went with but i hope i was full just very information filled <laughs> whatever that is so if you have requested this video for, for years 
so this is all i do don't forget to hit the like button below subscribe if you are not subscribed already and if you have any questions of anything you think i didn't cover here whatsoever please leave them in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer you okay until next time guys bye